In the US, the average total consumer debt in 2022 was 101,915 US dollars. And the average person is struggling to pay back these loans. Do you have any loans, credit card loans, student loans, mortgage loans, car loans, or all of the above? Have you looked at how you're gonna repay all these loans back? Sit back and relax as I break it all down stress-free. What's up guys, Luke Wilson here, and welcome back to the channel where we discuss everything finance. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail the two main methods of paying off debts. The burden of debt can hinder financial well-being and create stress for individuals seeking to become debt-free. Fortunately though, there are two popular debt repayment strategies. The first method is the debt snowball method, and the second method is the debt avalanche method. Both methods offer different approaches to tackle debts systematically. We will compare both methods in terms of principles, psychological benefits, interest savings, and overall effectiveness to determine which approach is best suited for different individuals' financial situations. Method one, the debt snowball method. The debt snowball method is a powerful and proven strategy to tackle multiple debts effectively by prioritizing small debts first and progressively moving towards larger ones. This approach empowers individuals to gain momentum and motivation in their journey towards financial freedom. The debt snowball method popularized by financial guru Dave Ramsey involves a step-by-step -step process to pay off debts systematically. The process begins by listing all debts from smallest to largest, regardless of their interest rates. Minimum payments are maintained for all debts except the smallest ones. That's right. The view is to pay off the smallest debt first. The key to the debt snowball method lies in paying off the smallest debt with as much extra money as possible. Once the smallest debt is cleared, the money previously allocated to that debt is added to the next smallest debt's minimum payment. This creates a snowball effect, wherein the amount available to pay off debts grows larger as each debt is eliminated. Let's take a look at an example. Let's say Malcolm has three debts, 1,500 on a credit card, 5,000 on a personal loan, and 10,000 on a car loan. Using the debt snowball method, Malcolm focuses on paying off the credit card first. By budgeting carefully and allocating an extra $500 every month, he clears the credit card debt in just three months. He then applies the $500 to his personal loan minimum payment, accelerating its payoff. As Malcolm eliminates each debt, his debt snowball grows larger, enabling him to pay off the car loan even faster. The debt snowball met its psychological benefits cannot be understated. As individuals see smaller debts getting paid off quickly, they experience a sense of accomplishment and motivation to continue the path of debt reduction. This emotional boost creates momentum, making it easier to stay committed to the process. Let's look at another example. John has a $500 medical bill, $3,000 in a credit card debt, and $10,000 in student loans. Even though the student loan has the highest interest rate, John starts with paying off the medical bill first. Within a month, he pays it off using savings and extra income. This achievement inspires him to attack the credit card debt more aggressively. In just eight months, he eliminates the credit card debt. The sense of progress encourages him to tackle the student loan with increased determination, leading to its eventual payoff. Let's take a look at the pros and cons of the debt snowball method. The pros are the psychological benefits. The debt snowball method provides immediate satisfaction as individuals see smaller debts being eliminated quickly. This early sense of achievement can motivate individuals to continue their debt repayment journey. The second pro is momentum. As debts are being paid off one by one, the snowball effect builds momentum, empowering individuals to stay committed to their financial goals. And here are the debt snowball and cons. It may lead to higher interest rate payments. Since debts are prioritized based on balances, high interest debts may not be addressed initially, potentially leading to higher overall interest payments. The second method is the debt avalanche method. The debt avalanche method is a strategic and disciplined approach to paying off debts based on their interest rates. 
By prioritizing high interest debts first, individuals can minimize interest payments and accelerate their journey towards financial freedom. The debt avalanche method involves listing all debts from highest to lowest interest rates, regardless of the outstanding balances. While minimum payments are maintained for all debts, any extra money available is allocated towards the debt with the highest interest rate first. The primary focus of the debt avalanche method is to eliminate debts with the highest interest rates as quickly as possible. By doing so, individuals can reduce the amount of interest accrued over time, saving more money in the long run. Let's take a look at an example. Mark has three debts, 2,500 on a credit card with an interest rate of 18%, 10,000 on a personal loan with an interest rate of 12%, and 5,000 on a student loan with an interest rate of 6%. Instead of starting with the smallest debt, like the debt snowball method, Mark chooses to pay the debt avalanche approach. He allocates any extra funds to pay off the credit card first, as it has the highest interest rate. Within a few months, he clears the credit card debt and then redirects the extra funds to the personal loan, followed by the student loan. The debt avalanche method maximizes interest savings by targeting high interest debts first. This approach is especially beneficial for individuals with multiple debts carrying high interest rates, such as credit card debt. Let's take a look at another example. Jennifer has four debts, 1,000 on a credit card with an interest rate of 25%, 3,500 on another credit card with an interest rate of 22%, 8,000 on a car loan with an interest rate of 8%, and 15,000 on a personal loan with an interest rate of 10%. By employing the debt avalanche method, Jennifer focuses on paying off the credit card with the 25% interest rate, then moves on to the other credit card, followed by the personal loan and then the car loan. This method enables Jennifer to save significantly on interest payments, accelerating her journey to becoming debt free. The debt avalanche method requires discipline and consistent allocation of any extra funds towards high interest debts. Staying committed to this approach may demand more willpower compared to the debt snowball method, as the progress towards clearing smaller debts is not as immediately visible. Here are the pros and cons of using the debt avalanche method. The pros, maximizing interest savings. The debt avalanche method prioritizes high interest debts reducing overall interest payments and enabling individuals to save more money in the long run. The second pro is efficient debt reduction. By targeting high interest debts first, individuals can become debt free faster compared to the debt snowball method and the cons of using the debt avalanche method. It may lack immediate psychological benefits. Since high interest debts may take longer to pay off, Individuals may not experience the same early sense of achievement and motivation as with the debt snowball method. Okay, so now that we've explained both methods and we have added up the pros and cons, what is the best approach for you? The decision to choose between the debt snowball method or the debt avalanche method depends on your financial situation, personality and goals. The two main reasons you would choose the debt snowball method would be you need psychological motivation. If you prefer immediate psychological benefits and momentum for seeing debts cleared quickly, the debt snowball method may be the better choice. And the second reason to choose the debt snowball method, you have multiple small debts. If the debts are relatively small and you can quickly pay them off, the debt snowball method can provide the necessary momentum to tackle larger debts. And then the two main reasons to choose the debt avalanche method. The first reason is, you want to save on interest payments. If minimizing overall interest costs is a priority to you, the debt avalanche method can save more money in the long run. And the second reason to use the debt avalanche method is if you have high interest debts. If the debts have significantly high interest rates, targeting them first with the debt avalanche method can lead to a faster and more efficient debt reduction. However, both the debt snowball and debt avalanche methods are effective strategies for becoming debt free. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more content.